Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the content. Please feel free to stick around, hit that subscribe button. You are more than welcome to be a part of our channel. For my returning subscribers and visitors, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for stopping back by. Today, we will be going over some things that I got from Five Below. So like about, I've been holding on to these things for maybe about two weeks, two to three weeks. And I want to show you guys some stuff that I got from Five Below that we can sublimate on, okay? It wasn't too much that I found, but they have things there. All right, so starting out, I have this blanket. I got this blanket from Five Below. It is 100% polyester, so we will be sublimating something onto it. They had other colors, but I really wanted to try sublimating onto It's like a light peach color. That we have. Oh, so in the back of Five Below, where they have all of their shirts and things like that, they, they usually have like other like clothing items. And so I found this 100% polyester dress. It's like a tube dress. So I'm going to try to sublimate onto this too. Maybe just sublimate something cute onto the bottom. But yep, they had various sizes and this one is 95 percent polyester and five percent spandex so i will sublimate onto this for my daughter then what else do we have i don't need that then we have these cute slipper socks they are 100 percent polyester and this will be a little bit difficult. I want you guys to see there's like rubber um, on the bottom, like cute little rubber snowflakes. We don't want to put that under the heat press. So we are just going to probably sublimate onto the legs of the socks. And then I think this is it. There was a shirt that I saw, a really, really cute shirt kind of long sleeve little crop top shirt and it was white 100 percent polyester but it was the only one that they had on the rack and they didn't have any in the back because i asked and it had like a small little stain on it i really wish i would have gotten it just to go ahead and sublimate onto it so you guys could see but it's it was a really really cute top for five dollars and we have this pillow that we are going to sublimate something on and it's so nice and fluffy. All right, y'all. So let's see what damage we could do to this stuff. Let's get started. All right, guys. So I got everything together. I have some of my stuff already printed out. And I ended up just get, finding random um, images to place onto these items. Uh, I did use, I think I used Design Bundle for... Um, one image and Etsy for another um, there they were files that I already had so yeah make it a little bit easier I'm just testing this stuff out so what I'm going to do for this first side of course I want to make sure that I get any lint or anything that may be left onto the pillow I also want to make sure that I kind of get the, the furry uh, material kind of going in the same direction, okay? Because I don't want it to be where it's kind of all over the place once it's sublimated and you know, it's kind of rough, roughed up a bit afterwards. So I do want to make sure that everything is going in the same image and using our mint roller. And now I'm going to place this on top of the pillow i did remove the um i removed the 
the tag um, from it. I usually remove tags a lot because I'm always worried that it could possibly burn. All right, so I'm just gonna take this down and it's already stuffed. There's no way for me to take this stuffing out prior to subbing it. So I am going to press it just like this. All right guys, so we are going to place our pillow underneath the press but first what I want to do is I want to cover it with butcher paper okay so we are going to cover our pillow with the butcher paper we are going to slide this underneath as much as possible and I am going to press this for 400 well it's gonna be on 400 degrees for 60 seconds and um it's like a kind of light. Yeah, mine is not going to go down. So I'm just going to hold this, okay? Alright y'all, so let's see if that worked in our favor at all because in order, what I realized now, in order to probably make it work a little bit better, we need to, um, we need to loosen up the press, okay, but I held it down for the minute. And so we are going to unveil together. And it does appear that it, it has sublimated. It has. Okay, let me remove the tape. And I found it's just easier to remove everything while it's still nice and hot and it hasn't like settled into. But here we go, guys. That's the pillow. All right, let's move on to our next item. And the next thing that we are going to be sublimating is this dress. Okay, so. I'm just going to actually I'm gonna put it backwards since we're just sub we're just subbing the bottom of the dress, okay? With the little sunflower. And I'm going to tape it down with a little bit of tape. Put two at the bottom. And then first though, gotta get any of that. Then I see a whole bunch of string on here too. So you gotta get this off. And I'm going to place our image on top. Tape it down a bit. We will be pressing this also at um, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And remember this one was 95% polyester and 5% spandex, okay? And I need to get a fresh piece of butcher paper. All right, so we have our butcher paper. I'm just gonna move it over to the center a little bit more. And let's cover it up. And press. And this is going to be for 60 seconds. All right. So we are done pressing the dress. And let's see how that bottom came out. Oh, wow. Looks very, very nice. It looks really good. So we are done.
sublimating the bottom of this dress. All right, so next we are going to go ahead and sublimate a corner of the blanket. We are only doing a corner of the blanket. Just make sure that you are doing it on the right side. So here we are. This is the corner that we are going to sublimate. And I already have our image. I'm going to show you the image in a second. It doesn't all have to be up there. And this is our image. I kind of wish I would have got the white blanket for this image, but it's all good. So this image is just going to go, I think I want it to kind of not be too straight on it, but kind of just like it's there. So that means I'll have to pull it up a little bit more. Right. Put it down and pull it just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna tape it. Uh oh. Forgot the most important thing. Let me get roll everything in the same direction. The only difference is with this um blanket, it's not as um fluffy as the pillow. So that's a good thing. Okay. I am going to tape it down because I don't want it to move at all. All right, so we have our butcher paper and we are going to press this for 60 seconds. All right. Let's see what the blanket looks like. We're going to move this out a bit. Let's see. Oh, this looks like it subs really, really nicely. It did. Even with it not being white, even with it being this peach, pinkish peach color, it still subbed very, very nicely. All right, and our last thing that we got to sub um, by below are these socks. And I'm just going to sub one of the socks because I want the other one to say something different. And so this is our image. Maybe it's COVID outside. And we are just going to put this right here on the front of the sock. You wanna make sure that the bottom of the sock, uh, there is, that it's not under the press because it's, um, don't know if you guys can really tell, but there's like sticky uh, material here and I don't think that's gonna go well under the press. So we are just simply going to use the I'm gonna use this part. So we are just going to use the part of the last butcher paper that we had because I had a little bit left over and this is going to go under for the same amount of time. All right. And that is it for the items been waiting to do. Uh oh, it looks like this this one may not sub all that well. Let's see once we take it off because if you see, oh, well, it does. So let's take off the image. Pull off our tape. And this is what it came out like. So we're gonna see if we can get that back fluffy. All right? All right, y'all. So we are all done sublimating the items that we found at Five Below. There are tons of 
items that can be sublimated at five below okay i'll probably go back by to check and see what else but i just want to do a recap so they have these pillows uh in different colors of course i want to get as light as possible um and as you guys can see it's sublimated really nicely the only thing is is that of course i couldn't get my heat press to clamp down on it so i had to push down on it um probably if i would have loosened it up a bit it might have um but it is a nice fluffy pillow okay so this is how it's sublimated and remember when we started i kind of brushed it all down so that it can go into the same direction because of course you know if you do like this it may not necessarily look how you want it but surprisingly hmm, surprisingly not bad right but if you just brush it down back in the same way same direction it's fine all right and so next we then sublimated this dress for my daughter. Okay, it's a nice little maybe um, bathing suit cover up or just a nice, if it's cool, we live in a, a warm place that's warm year round. So she can wear this at any time, but very cute, right? You can kind of put whatever you want on there. I chose to do some sunflowers and that sublimated really, really nicely. Those colors look good. All right, and then we have our blanket. And look how nice. And finally, those socks that look like they might have been burnt. Um, they weren't, but I may. Um, I only subbed on one of the socks. Next time, I may. Uh, no, I think it gets its fluff back. So the same thing applies to the socks, like maybe the pillow, but the pillow looks really good. Um, if the fluff is going in multiple directions or different directions, it may not, uh, the image may not be seen clearly, but I did kind of fluff it up a bit once it cooled off and it wasn't too bad. So this is our fluffy sock, all right? So, how cool was all that stuff? Like, all right, y'all. So, that's it. Um, there's so many different things that you can get from Five Below that will work for giving as gifts or even selling. These are some pretty good blanks that you can personalize for your customers. And, yeah, I think they would be very happy. So, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like the video. Also, if you are not a subscriber yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so that you can be notified of when new content is posted. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.